everybody you got to keep an eye on your pink stuff this is all California sunshine and look you kind of need to look at it every day not every day maybe every other day and make sure look at this mm -hmm. that is how you spot if something's going on you know it's gonna kill your plant sooner or later except this seems to be very very resilient because look it hasn't done like distortion or anything like that so all you have to do really is just um, treat it so how you do that is to I take my I may, I might as well move this dark moon because I lost my dark moon already and these two are look at I have to repot this because they're twins isn't that special all right so the, the way I treat it is in this water I have I don't know what the mixture um, measurement is but I just mix it all together I just put a squirt of um, hydrogen peroxide however much I mean it doesn't really matter because it's very natural and then I add some alcohol to water so what I'm gonna do for now is to like just remove all of this white stuff which means that is your mealy bugs this is before this is their their egg sac so before they become mature just remove that I don't know how this happened but the pink ones your pink sedums your pink echeverius especially especially when it's um, very tender leaves it's very prone to mealybugs they love that color I don't know why I mean who doesn't love pink right except everybody does and mealybugs are no exception so so I make sure that you go under the leaves too and check it especially with the echeverias this is pretty um, firm so you can't really push the leaves otherwise it'll break but just stick I stick my brush bristles way in there and that's how you clean it but I don't um, I learned this from the lady at the cacti society cacti and succulent society not to leave your chemical well it's not really chemical it's natural but you don't know what's, what it's doing to the leaves of your plants so don't leave it just sitting there even though it's even though after we treat this we need to keep it under shade for a while for maybe an, a day or two so here's my ghost plant which is kind of pink but see it doesn't have a lot as much as this one does look at this one stop this freaking fly hate flies um, what I'm gonna do with the flies they uh, I read a, I read it on Pinterest that they hate the smell of pine salt so we need to like soak up some uh, pine salt in a sponge and keep it out like in your patio or something the day before you have a party but for me it's every day I hate flies and so I spray myself with that um, what is that called it's Avon it's skin so soft from Avon because they hate the smell of that too okay so this is pretty much all I do this is my California sunshine or sunset <laughs> sunshine or sunset whatever California sunset um, and my ghost plant together 
So if there's a lot, if there's too much um, white there, so I have I have this brush which I already pretty much removed everything, and I forgot to put my diatomaceous earth in it, which I will do. Sorry, I'm holding the camera, so it's kind of hard to finagle around this when I'm watching two things at the same time. Um, let's see. Fly, get away from me. Okay, so I just keep going like this. And so the next thing I'm going to do, if there's too much infestation... Um, I take my alcohol spray, 70% uh, alcohol, but the lady at the um, Cacti Society said she, she dilutes it with water, which makes a lot of sense because you don't want something so strong. I've killed a couple of plants doing that, even though it's only 70%. Sometimes I only use 50% alcohol but it's still um, concentrated so it's better if you just dilute it with water anyway correct right right am I right am I right Look at this one. so I'm just gonna take I'm gonna take my um, for uh, my forceps and remove all the dead things because that attracts the mealybugs too and I think I'm it, my mealybug infestation is going to be over soon because I just killed all the ants. Unless the flies carry it, which they're going to be annihilated soon too. I don't think they do because I've never heard of it. But further research is necessary. Okay, so I did that. I'm going to take my spray. I'll be right back. So what I do next is take my hose and I hope my water is on and just blast it with the water. Come here. Let me get them all out of there. At the same time watering so you want to do this before you water see blast it and they're gone see <gasps> look how pretty she is not too hard so you just have to have control of your nozzle so you don't blast it too hard you can also do this with a spray bottle if you don't have a hose. Just make sure that the blast is kind of hard. Not too hard. Get them all out of there. Okay. So the next thing I'll do is remove all the detritus out of there. Make sure you get the ones that are hiding in there. The little ones. Yeah, they should be they should be okay. Yes. And either just let it sit and dry or make sure that there's no water inside the rosette because you don't want it to rot. And you can also remove um, little specks of soil and stuff out of it. So I'll just go and do this. And then I just leave this in the shade for about a day. Um, but before I let let it sit, I will spray it with my pest the pest um, spray it with my my pest concoction. 
that I research and so far doing a great job protecting from but it takes it takes a while before it <clears throat> takes effect because it's supposed to um, get inside the the body of the pest so it takes probably maybe four or five spray times but not an everyday thing you have to do it like at least once every week for six six weeks maybe just to make sure so you take out the dead stuff and then I spray it with my spray solution everywhere um, I will have a recipe for this for my patreon so jump into my patreon page and donate whatever you you want to donate but you will get the recipe if you are a patron or if you want to donate on PayPal it's also the um the link will also be down the bottom i also, i also have a link for this little air blower if you want to remove all that stuff so it's not sitting on the plant but this is a good solution for protection it puts a defense against um, the pest because it coats it with some a coating and so far it's so good there and then I just let it sit in a in a shady area like maybe right here in the shady right there Yay. and we'll we will revisit it after a few days and see what's going on. My babies are doing great. Look at this one with all the all the roots coming up. And as always, if you like this video, please smash the like button, share, 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 comment, and click the subscribe button so you don't miss out. And remember, XOXO!